the best ball carrier moves in college football 25 guys college football 25 is wide open it's wide open game and i want to go through some of the best ways to get wide open plays or just big plays in general and to do this i'm going to show you the best ball carrier moves in the game ball carrier moves every year there's always a couple that are really good and in this game there are a ton that are really good so i don't really worry about the playbook i'm just going to show you kind of how i'm going to use them and i'm just going to run some stretches here so donovan edwards in my opinion the best back in the game but basically the the main thing you want to be doing is you want to and unlike in madden you want to be holding turbo for these for these moves so what you're going to do is you're going to run hold turbo and then you're just going to juke inside or juke outside that is super super good and i'll show it to you this side here just get a little more space get him out juke inside oftentimes that juke will be so like wide he'll take a much wider juke the other thing that i would say is when you're juking like really exaggerate like even bring your left joystick back across it makes it so that these jukes are better it makes it so you cover more space uh, which is super good and for some reason I can't juke anybody in practice mode but but essentially like the juke is the best move that I've seen uh, the spin is still there there you see that's kind of what we're gonna get see how he's super exaggerating that juke now if I do that without holding turbo you're gonna see that it's more of a, a more of a sidestep kind of cut juke not very effective for what we want to do what we want to do is we want to get out here juke super far inside super far outside that's the idea so the juke move is probably my favorite way uh, to do this now there is another one that i want to go over and also if you guys are not subscribed to the channel it's free and i post a ton of tips we post three videos a day here on this channel to help people get better at college football so if you want to get all that content make sure that you're subscribed and then I do have ebooks on my school website, which is school.com slash Cody Ballard. Already got day one ebooks out. Super good. Uh, but anyways, you see how good this juke is. The juke is really good. Okay. So the juke is good. The other thing that's really good is the spin. So you're going to hold right trigger. And you got to get your momentum going a little bit more than I did right there. But this this spin move is maybe just as good as the juke, if not better. So you see how see how cut, there's so much ground when you do that. Now, the key to the spin move is the same key to the juke move, and that is to hold the trigger. So we want to hold the trigger when we're doing this, and we really want to exaggerate kind of that rotation of our left joystick from my perspective. I think it really helps. But as you see, it's really good and really helpful for, like, the situations like that where you kind of get pinned at the line of scrimmage. You can use that spin move to get out. Uh, and there you see, and you can you kind of you can also string these moves together. So, like, let's say what one thing that I think is really good is you would spin and then immediately juke outside. So you'd spin inside and then juke outside. I think that's one of the best ways to utilize these like combo moves. So you see here, let's see if I can get it juke or, or spin inside, and then I was going to juke outside. So obviously you're not going to break every tackle, but this is going to consistently like in the open field. This is going to get you a broken tackle. Okay, uh, but these two moves, in my opinion, are the best. As you see, look at that juke move. That turned like a, a five-yard loss into a huge gain. Another thing that's going to happen in college football 25 is it's, it has to do with like ball carrier momentum is what I think. But basically with, with like ball carrier momentum, you're going to break a lot of tackles just because. So that's another reason why you don't have to overdo it with the moves. Like just one juke, and then you see how his momentum is going to carry him for five yards. Really good. Running the ball, if you guys aren't catching up what I'm saying here, running the ball is really good and you can do this with quarterbacks too uh milro q or orgy uh these these quarterbacks you could do this with these guys and uh really really good so pretty simple but i just wanted to drop a video on the best ball carry moves in madden just so that you can start making people miss because uh, i do think this is one of the best methods to do that using these spins using these jukes uh and then normally what you want to do is is do this in the open field now one other thing i forgot to mention not every player can do these jukes and spins, okay? So you're looking for high agility, high spin move, high juke move to have somebody that can do this. But when you have players that can do these juke moves, especially like wide receivers, it really helps them in the open field, like really, really helps them in the open field. So, and then if you don't want to hold like turbo while you're at the line, behind the line, there you see, I mean, that was almost a crazy run. If you don't want to hold turbo behind the line of scrimmage, be my guess, like let's say like right here, I'm running stretch left, I'm not going to hold turbo. And then when I get out here, I'm going to, once I get in the open space, then I'm going to hold turbo. Uh, but from what I've seen, turbo, the turbo jukes, the turbo spins are pretty much a uh, consensus to being the best ball carrier moves in this game. So I wanted to drop a little tip video for you guys on them and why they are so good.